Alright, and welcome back. Here we are in Lily's pocket plane. I think previously you might have actually left something behind at Yakashura's lair, so we'll likely be returning there. I think before we do, we've acquired a number of new artifacts. So, just want to check with Cespinor and see what might be able to be done with them. Cespinor gladly serves a great one. Cespinor make good butler, yes? Would you like me to make you shiny ones? I have many recipes. Ooh! Needs must I look through your belongings? Match them to recipes, must I? Let me see. Yeah, the problem is I think Cespinor has a very short memory. So I think Lily's going to rush him along until uh, he finds something that he hasn't told us about before. Hmm. Cool. Hmm. Hmm. If I fall in that... Ooh! Big weapon, this! You overcompensating, maybe? <laughs> He's talking to Lily. Alright, here he is noticing something new. Ravager is nice halberd. Very nice. If you find serpent shaft, that makes it even nicer. We actually have the serpent shaft, but it's in storage. Alright. So, she's been risking investing into these reforgings even for things that we necessarily wouldn't use, like a halberd, but typically has not been working in our favor, but I think she'll risk it anyway, because there's really no way to know otherwise, at least in-game. Alright. It's the Ravager. I keep looking in backpack! Could you get lost in here! Maybe you should get me a candle! Or maybe a parakeet in cage! Ugh! Smelly! Ah, the flail of many heads it is! Ouch! Ooh, wrong head! Of course, I think we knew about the, uh... Poison head? I'm not sure we knew that there was a head for electricity. Okay. You sure you not just want that? Ooh! It's very nice. There's something else here? What? You use- You just need gold for that? Eh? Bag of rocks? What do you do with so many rocks? Need for head? Alright, here's another new item. The... I guess bag of plenty, which I think is unlimited plus one bullets. I guess he's able to improve. Yeah. We need a king's tier and 10,000 gold. You not got better things to do than watch me search your bags? Like, quest, maybe? <laughs> In fact, Lily does. Ooh! You like this one, maybe? Okay, so I keep looking. What got we here? A book? It's good bedtime readings, maybe? Oh. It's Tome of Golems. Yeah, Boring. Alright, the Stone Golem page and 10,000 coin. Actually, Lily, of course, is interested in this. So, you know what? I think she might do this now <laughs> while we're in here. It's, uh, it's a tedious process to have to have him go through everything. Stone Golem, of course, it has to be better than the clay golem. Alright, so I think she'll do this. Commissioning Cespinar to make the stone golem manual for 10,000 coin. Okay. Stand back then. Never use this recipe before. Could be messy. Enjoy. Now Cespinar goes back to his duties. Oh, yes. Lots of goodies to find. Lots to collect! Alright, sure enough. Stone Golem. Ten rounds once per day. Curious, though, if this intelligence requirement is <laughs> slowly increasing with each reforging. Probably not. Okay. Alright. And... The Ravager. Yeah, there's a few things here. Well, I think we're going to sell the book. Yeah, he didn't mention anything about this, but I think we'll still hold on to it. Paler's Claw. All right, here it is. Ravager. I think we'll put that away to make sure that we don't accidentally sell it. Along with uh, 
Yeah, Yagashura's journal. There was something else. Oh. Yeah. Only has Blade Singer Chain plus four. It would have been holding on to the <laughs> Shadow Dragon scale. Even though it has acid resistance, but I think we'll just sell this. And um also put the vigil stun away for watchers keep until we actually need to go back there. Something like that. Alright. How may I assist? Alright, so putting away the Ravager plus four with the reforgeable items. And the Vigil Stone and Yagashira's journal away. Alright. Okay. I am yours to command. Ooh! Shiny ones! I think the other concern. Webinar is good servant. Oh yes. I think the other concern was with this option here. The first time we're taken outside, it was worded a little bit differently. We were taken to the north forest. Certainly don't want to be taken outside of Saradouche, for example, to Yagashura's siege camp. So we might actually return to Nile and Carthus, the merchant, on foot. We'll have to see. But, um, for now, at least going back to the temple. But if we do return on foot, obviously that'll be taking us through the Marchy Mountains. We'll likely see fire giants. <laughs> but, probably not such a bad thing. At least trying to raise coin for these reforgings. I think, um, fire giants typically have precious stones on them. So it could be worthwhile. The group needs me? Alright. Here is what looks like just a potion. Yeah. Potion of fire giant strike. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure, though. Actually, this is the... second one, I think, that we've picked up. Which I guess makes sense. Vakoni opened this door using Chrome Fair, and I think there was another... potion here. Jacques. So they must just leave them here to ensure that you're able to open these doors. Oh. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I think we'll exit the way we came in. Zion? Something amiss? But that was certainly interesting last time reading excerpts from Yagashura's journal. In fact, I think it might have been some of the most important information that we've learned so far for the Throne of Bowl expansion. To discover that both Yagashura and Ilasara the Quick were both working or, and are working for someone else. Well, you'd really like to know who that someone else is. Whether it's a person or a creature. Because they must be awfully powerful to have somebody like Yagashura under their command. In fact, I really had to guess if this person or creature is smart enough, they're probably pitting the five powerful ball spawn along with their armies against each other. In fact, it's probably a sixth powerful ball spawn that's remained somewhat hidden and out of view, and playing things uh, a lot smarter than the other five. In fact, we picked up this weapon, Scion's Blade plus five. Effective against a lithid. <laughs> I know it's a little meta gaming, but wouldn't be surprised if that sixth hidden ball spawn is in a lithid. It would kind of make sense to use a tactic like that. Yes. 
to pit the other five against each other. We'll have to see. Probably won't find out if it's even remotely true till the end. <laughs> I have to love that music. All right. There most certainly will be fire giants out here. You really can hear that dragon or whatever that is across the hill. You know what? Just for uh, her amusement, I think she'd like to take a look. What? Just gas shield. Boy. Yeah, I'm not sure. If you were a dragon, would you be perched here in the corner? Probably not. Probably like a large, wide open area. What is this? Merlinius, Tibbet, and Toop the Brave, and a chinchilla. <laughs> Boy, is that strange. I don't, it's still not worth it to, uh... With the fire giants here in the Marching Mountains for Lily to, uh... Even find out what that might be about. Even though, I know I'm curious, but... Yeah, she's not. Alright. Just wanted to keep, uh, Mazzy at range. Might be difficult enough just to get out of here. Because uh, we don't want to expend too many resources as Lily's expecting treachery from Niali. <laughs> 